Six with that breaking news from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. We're learning that the civil lawsuit, which claims at least two players from the New Mexico State men's basketball program were being sexually assaulted by other teammates for more than six months, has been settled. In the past 30 minutes, NMSU releasing a statement saying in part, it's quote, please this situation has now come to a resolution and all parties are able to move forward. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips has been following this story for months now. She confirmed the settlement with the attorney for the plaintiffs within the last few hours and joins us live now from the ABC 7 Alert Center with the very latest details. Rachel. I think the most important thing to note, Eric, is that the settlement is just between NMSU and the two basketball players and one of their fathers. The plaintiff's attorney and documents we obtained confirm that all of the individuals in that lawsuit, which was filed back on April 19th, have been dismissed with prejudice, which really just means that a lawsuit for the same reasons cannot be filed against those five people. I'm, of course, talking about the five defendants you see on your screen right now. Former head coach Greg Heyer, who was fired for cause back on February 14th. Assistant coach Dominic Taylor and three former players, DeShondre Washington, Dr. Bradley, and Kim Aiken Jr. Now, the attorney for the plaintiffs told me this afternoon that New Mexico State University stepped up and took responsibility and offered what she says is a fair and reasonable resolution. But she made it clear that the settlement happened with no adjudication. And so even though there is a settlement, she doesn't think that that exonerates anybody who the lawsuit was initially filed against. Now, the civil lawsuit filed in April claimed that players William Benjamin and Shaq Odenewu were sexually assaulted, harassed and abused for more than six months by Washington, Bradley and Aiken. It also claimed that the players reported the hazing to both Haya and Taylor on multiple occasions and they did nothing to stop what was going on. The lawsuit said the negligence from the former coaching staff and the school led to a culture of abuse within the program. I asked uh, the attorney of the Platons if this settlement is justice for the plaintiffs. This is what she told me. The reality is the only justice we have in this country beyond the criminal justice system is money justice. So it's an imperfect fix. You know, if the slate could be wiped clean and they could rewind and none of this ever happened, I'm sure that would have been their first choice. Now we're still waiting to learn what the details of the resolution are. A spokesperson for NMSU told me they will be released by the Risk Management Division of New Mexico. Now this resolves this civil lawsuit, but the New Mexico Attorney General's office did confirm with me today that they are still investigating whether there are any criminal charges to be pressed. Coming up in sports, Adrian Ochoa will look at the responses from some of the defendants in the lawsuit since it has been revealed that they were dismissed. But for now, Eric, back to you.